Abram did say, tell, tell, her, tell him you must sister, which is sort of true. But the, the thing is, she was, he, he was, all this time, he, he only just dawned on him, 75 years old, he spent his whole life with her because she was his sister. They spent, would have been in the same, maybe the same house, maybe the same home, or at least a couple of doors away. So they knew, knew him completely. But sometimes we can be too familiar with each other. And, uh, and so we, we miss that, that, um, that wonderful you, you know, like the wonderful you, you know, like guys, uh, from the point of view of, of a guy, guy, guy wants to be, what a guy wants from a relationship is to know that he's, he is the head here, you know, he is in charge, or, or he, not necessarily in charge, but he is the head of the house, okay? Yeah. And, and he, wants to, he wants to be built up in that position, okay? And, and the wives, wives want, want to know that they are sort of certainly uh, loved and honoured and cherished like that vessel, like that beautiful vessel. Yeah. And, uh, and so that God's got this, this way of us doing those things and we can do that independent of the other person. Even, even, if, even if that's not happening um, from either position on your spouse, like Jeff was saying before, we've got to take, it, take that blessing from the Lord. We're not, we're not to be codependent on our on our spouse or anybody else or any anybody any a book or spouse or or um we're not we're, we're just not to be there we we just to do do what the lord has said and so this is in this section it's sort of like got a happy happy ending hasn't it really if you know the story he said to go um pharaoh called abraham and said what is this that you've done to me and abraham i think abraham would have answered he said, well, don't blame me. It was the lust of your eyes that got us in this fine mess. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I imagine he would have said to him. And then, why didn't you tell me... Why didn't you tell me that she was your wife? And I imagine Abraham again uh, saying, hey, you're the one with the enchanters and magicians. That's like saying a fortune teller was closed due to unforeseen circumstances. So, uh, you know, you seen that? <laughs> um... Funny. And so why didn't you say she was sister? I might have taken taken her as as my wife. And Abraham would have looked him firmly in the eye, eyes then. The penny would have dropped. Listen, Buster, that was never going to happen because I'm on a promise. I'm on a mission from God. I'm on a promise from God. And God says that my my children are going to be me and Sarah. Okay. So right at that moment, he got this great revelation. Now, isn't that a great revelation? And we... That's our revelation. If that's just one little take, you can take away. You've got a promise from God on, on a marriage, on on our on a relationship, not just marriage, but relationship with kids and everything. We've got this promise. No matter what you're seeing now, what you're looking at now, know this: God is looking and sees it as righteous. Okay, He's seeing it, it, those who are in Christ and, and, and in the promises. He's seeing this righteous, uh, this righteous situation. No matter what you're doing, you. He does it. He builds it. We, we just got to get out the road and let him build the house. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so yeah, the moral of that story was that the story of Abraham was supposed to be on a honeymoon, but he didn't catch on. And he had the most, you know, just got to remember this. He, she, he had the most beautiful wife in the world. He had a great plan, a new country, a new hope, a new future. But he, but he still prefers singing, I did it my way. <laughs> is, it, is that like anybody? Don't put your hands up. <laughs> yeah, sort of like, we, we tend to do that. But, but we can train ourselves out of that. We can train ourselves into the, the way God is. Amen. Well, Jeff has um, handed around a few questions. Like, I did want to um, allow people to have some questions. And if, um, if that question is a question you want to ask, and they're very good questions, I saw them before. And because I asked before and nobody had any questions, so I thought, thank you, Jeff. <laughs> handing those, uh, handing those, clutch start, anything. But if you've if you got any questions, and um, Je- Jeff is a great question. He, like, we work together, he works part time for me and, uh, as a, in, the, in my sign shop. And, he's, and, he's, um, and, I, and I ask him questions, and he's, he asks me, I think, more questions <laughs> to me than I ask him and, uh, about. About these sort of things, and we discuss scripture, and we yeah we have a great time because we we can put scripture on while we're working and 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 spiritual songs and and all those things, and so we we have a great time together. 
But uh, yeah, but he's um, but he's also a school teacher. He does a bit of part time, a few different things, and um, yeah, he uh, enjoys all this variety in his life. But we got those questions. So if anybody want to ask any questions, or if you want to ask that question that, as a prompt, you can quite work willing. So has any anybody got a question or anything? Yeah.